What is going on guys? Grave here today. I'd like to talk about some different leaked info that's come out about weapon and vehicle customization for Battlefield 2042. Now keep in mind this is data mined info so this may or may not end up in the final version or the beta version of the game that we get to play here in the future. But this does kind of give us an idea of what DICE may be kind of doing when it comes to weapon and vehicle customization. I will link this info down in the description if you would like to read over it for yourself. The first uh, weapon customization data we received was from the M5A3 that shows three different barrel options, a short, medium, and long option, three different muzzle brake and compensator options, three different suppressor options, three different or four different grip options, excuse me, four ammo and magazine options, and 13 scope options. Plus the options for bipods, laser sights, grenade launchers, HE, incendiary, and smoke. This kind of reminds me of what we saw in things like our games like Battlefield 3 and 4 when it comes to weapon customization data. Now when it comes to what we can expect for vehicle customization data, it's kind of the same thing we've seen in the past. This was from the EBAA Wildcat, which in my opinion is kind of like a tank or an IFV hybrid. Uh, the different things they say these vehicles will have options to use are cannons and missiles, EMP, grenade launchers and mortars, smoke and spotting. Features four seats, one for a driver, two for gunners, and one for a spotter. And then they broke it down into a bit more detail so you could see exactly what kind of options you have here. Like a 40 millimeter cannon, a 57 uh, millimeter cannon, uh, cannon, a double A, a double, double A double cannon. I'll get that out in just a second. A 40 minute, a 40 millimeter GL, uh, bounce grenades, EMP, flak, mortar, rocket, shotgun options for the barrel. Uh, for Gunner 2, you have things like the 40 millimeter GL missile barrage, the HMG, and the minigun. The spotter or the passenger will have spotting pulse and spotting options. It says they'll have abilities like detection jammers, smoke launchers, smoke discharge, thermal smoke, and system repair. I'm kind of curious if that system repair is going to be like an old school style system repair we saw with older Battlefield games like Battlefield 3 and 4, where you know, you can system repair it from inside with, you know, a certain perk that you have unlocked. And then you actually have to physically get out and have a engineer style character repair it. Or if all the repair options are going to be like Battlefield uh, 1 and Battlefield 5, where you actually repair the vehicle from inside, which I don't think a lot of people liked. I think a lot of people liked that older school way where you had to get out and, you know, repair it with a torch. That was a lot of fun, in my opinion, anyway. I know not everyone may agree with that, but I really did like that option. But this kind of gave us, like I said, an idea of what we can expect. And this stuff, like I said at the start, may or may not end up in the game. But so far, it seems like their vehicle customization and weapon customization options are a lot like Battlefield 3 and 4. Now, when it comes to vehicle customization, there is no word if we're going to be able to change those on the fly. But we do know when it comes to weapon customization, it seems like we're going to be able to change our attachments on the fly in game. So I would not expect a large amount of attachments per weapon now some weapons like i said may have different styles of attachments but when it comes to exactly what we can expect to see on each individual weapon i would not think there's going to be a lot on each one just because of the fact we're going to be able to change you know all this stuff in game on the fly so you won't you don't really want to have 10 different barrel options and 10 or 15 different side options and 10 or 15 different compensator options or you know suppressor options you want to be able to go through that ui menu quickly change what you want and get right back into the fight. So hopefully when the beta comes out, we can kind of see how that process is going to work. But I didn't want to make this video letting you guys know exactly kind of what's being data mined right now. Like I said, that info is down in the description if you want to look over it for yourself. And if this kind of comes to light and this is what we're going to have available in game, I think a lot of people will be happy with it considering it is that Battlefield 3, uh, Battlefield 4 style attachment system. And then with the ability to change it on the fly, Maybe we'll have the option to kind of set up what we want to change in game. You know, you'll have a couple options of things that you can change out and that will just be kind of in your inventory. You can swap that in and out as you go, you know, from game to game. That would be a pretty neat option as well. So leave me a comment with your thoughts, guys. Of course, if you like the video, hit the like. If you have not subscribed yet, please do so. If you are a subscriber, make sure you have notifications turned on so you know when everything goes live here on the channel. And be sure to check out everything down in the description, the community discord, my Twitter, and of course the affiliate here on the channel, Empire Jerky. And I'll catch you all next time. Peace.